this morning was, was <laughs> before we invite all you good people to come and have breakfast with us, ask us, ask you a little question. Elaine, I know you, you have been caught on the hop by this one because we didn't get around to asking you. Oh but who, everybody, and you can play this game at home if you like, there are no prizes, would like to invite to dinner? Mm. Are you looking at me first, yeah. Henry? Mm. Well, I've thought about this, you see, and as you said, you doesn't could have... have to be the Pierce Barker family, by no, the way. It's no, it's all right. But I mean, I would, Angie. I would yes, really yes, if they let me. <laughs> um, I would like to have, I think, somebody exquisitely beautiful. So probably Greta Garbo. Right. I would say. I'd like to have somebody wonderfully powerful and magnificent. And I didn't think of Nigel. No. Oh. I thought I, of Alexander I, the Great. Oh. Very, Alexander very the Great and Greta Garbo. Hang on a tick, I write these down. Yes. yes. Right. And then I thought I would like to have somebody enormously witty and amusing. Uh, uh, and yeah. again, um, I didn't think immediately uh, of Henry uh, or of Nigel uh, no, or no. of Ehrlich. Yeah. And then I thought either Oscar Wilde, obvious, 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 or Kenneth Williams, who could yes. come. Oh. I mean, that would be the great thing. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> come, all right. Right, yeah. Oleg? Oleg, who would you invite I'd to dinner? Be, uh, history would be, I would have Henry VIII, and Grace Kelly, I think the combination of coolness and his order would be interesting. And I thought that, that maybe Napoleon and Raquel Welch <laughs> would be a good combination. Oh, yes. And then yeah. I would like to have Errol Flynn and Truman Capote. Uh, I don't know, maybe you, be, you don't know who yeah. Truman Capote yes, is? Yes, of course, yes. I thought yes. that would be a strange combination. And that would be a little dinner for six or eight people, and that would I'd like to see. Poor man only died I recently, didn't he, Truman? Yeah. Capote. Very, very sad. Nigel? Yeah. Uh, I, we were talking about cliches earlier on, and I'll give you a cliché answer. Shakespeare. It has to be Shakespeare, because of all the people in history, he's the one we know least about. That's true, all right. Uh, yeah. We haven't a clue, you know, how he talked, or really how, what he looked like. Uh, so I think probably Shakespeare and Elaine Page, and you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you horrible <laughs> little crow, are you? <laughs> who, would you, who would you take? I mean, uh, assuming that Davis was uh, uh, not free and Lon Satin was gone off for the weekend <laughs> <laughs> with some other Caribbean lady. Who would you take out to dinner, Rusty? Who Prince would you like Charles. To, Prince Charles, you'd yes. like to see coming into your restaurant. And Lady Diane, yes. And Princess, Princess, Princess Diana. Diana. You watch it, you get sent oh. to the Tower of London. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was opposite uh, the castle. Uh, was it Windsor? Windsor, yes. Yes, yes, Windsor. yes it's Windsor Castle. Windsor it? Castle. She's only lately hotel. arrived in the country. <laughs> yeah. I should, and I thought, oh, I'd love to. Yes. I'd love to go into that kitchen. I'd love to see the kitchen. I'd like to see um, uh, Prince Charles seat in the Caribbean Aki and selfish, isn't yeah. it? I'd like to just see him say, Oh, this Aki and selfish, nice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Elaine, as I said, we sprung the question on you. Have you been thinking while the answers were Oh, yes, I think I'd have David Bowie, David Bowie, and David Bowie. Would you? Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> I'd just have Malcolm Muggeridge because he's the most inveterate and wonderfully entertaining gossip of the whole 20th century. It's impossible to mention a name to Mug without him. Uh, without him knowing something about them, isn't it true? There's a variation of the game that you can invite the people you wouldn't want to invite, you know? Oh, that's yes. a good idea, yes. Who would you not have? Oh, well, the first God. name that comes to mind is Clement Freud, <laughs> because I think he'd be very picky, you know? Yes. And perhaps Mahatma Gandhi, because he would just sit there, he wouldn't yes. eat, you see. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be hard to get now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, well, you yeah. said of all time. Uh, yeah. So well, one could go on from there. Yes, mm. that's a yes. good idea. Yes. Stalin. <laughs> Stalin. You wouldn't yeah. like to have Stalin yeah. there. Oh, no. Or Genghis Khan. Or Genghis Khan. I can imagine everybody at home. I don't think so. Attila the Hunt to see what he was actually like. Yes. Would you be the far right of him? <laughs> yes. yes. Look, before we go, the, it's something that has just been handed into my hand here. We were talking about cliches recently. The State Department in, in, in Washington has uh, won an award for doublespeak from the National Council of Teachers of English in the United States. Now, you want to hear this. Apparently, during the course of this year, the State Department changed the word killing to unlawful or arbitrary deprivation of life. Um, the Pentagon has also called peace permanent pre-hostility, combat is violence processing, and would you believe civilian casualties in nuclear war are now known as collateral damage? Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. It also described the invasion of Grenada as a pre dawn Ah, stop, I can't read that out. A pre-dawn <laughs> vertical insertion. <laughs> Listen, what on earth is going on here? What on earth is going on here? Well, that's what that's what they all that's what they all said it was. Anyway, Elaine, are you are you in the middle of rehearsals? Have we dragged you from uh, 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 tremendous activity to which you have to go no, back at once? No, not not exactly. Um, I sort of this week is a, is a quiet little a little lapse, I could say, in, in the in the madness of it all. But it's been very exciting the last few months. It's been terribly busy. How's the doggy? 
Yes, he's great. Oh, Did you bring him in? No. No, thank God for that. He might be in all over the studio. I'm sure he'll be. Oleg, you're back to the United States. What is that? Ha <laughs> ha! Morning, Wiley Wakers! Morning! <laughs>